Since I became a parent a few years ago, my awareness of the impact that we have as human beings on our environment in particular has really increased because I'm focused on making sure that I protect that environment wherever I can for my children and that we leave something behind for them to enjoy. By 2030, you will no longer be able to buy a new petrol or diesel car in the UK. We need to plan what the alternatives are. Optimise Prime is a really important programme that we're working on, bringing together the energy and transport sectors to plan for how our society can use electric vehicles at scale. It's the world's largest commercial fleet electric vehicle trial. It's a three-year innovation program and it involves a range of different companies, network operators, as well as three fleet operators, all running different types of fleet. All of these companies working together from different sectors towards a common objective. And what that means is when the fleets can move to electrification, there'll be less dependence on fossil fuels to drive our transport, improved environmental sustainability, and ultimately, better quality air for all of us to breathe. And really, it comes together in that collaboration. Primarily, we're focusing on commercial fleets because they will be the largest adopters of these vehicles. Once we know that commercial fleets can move to electrification, we think consumers will be much more likely to follow, and then ultimately our dependence on fossil fuels will reduce. Hitachi's focus on social innovation runs through everything that we do. Using technology to improve people's lives, it's one of the main reasons I work for Hitachi. Our data platform is capturing and analysing huge volumes of information and data from across all of our partners as part of this programme and also external parties. We're looking at information around energy demand, connection profiles, location of charging points, the journeys that vehicles make and how they need to be charged. And we're also combining that with information around things like weather, which may have an impact on all of the planning that needs to be done. UK Power Networks own and operate the cables and wires which deliver your electricity from generators to your home, serving a population of about 20 million customers. We expect another quarter of the amount of electricity we deliver to be delivered for full electrification of transport. So the way we get ready is create the best possible forecast of what we expect to see, monitor and use data to confirm those electric vehicles are connecting. And the most important step is a smart toolbox to respond to these electric vehicles and the impact on the grid. So the challenge UK Power Networks are facing is not having full visibility of where and when electric vehicles connect. The Optimised Prime project goes a long way to help us solve these challenges. Working with Hitachi has been really useful. It's allowed us to get a view into a fleet manager's world and allow them to transition to an energy manager to perfectly quantify exactly how much power they need at different times of the day, which is revolutionary. Ultimately, we know that the depot managers who need to manage these fleets of vehicles can make sure that those vehicles can do the journeys they need to meet the customer needs that they have. Optimised powering will come to an end in 2023 We'll collect all the learnings that we've gathered and we'll share them through the industry regulator Ofgem so that they can be collected, stored and used by anybody that wants to make their own positive changes around reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. We hope that there will be mass adoption across both the UK but also many, many other countries and it will really help towards our journey towards sustainable energy use for the transport sector. For me, Optimise Prime is really a purpose-driven project. It's something that all of the members of the programme are deeply passionate about. It is an amazing example of what can happen when we combine the power of technology with people's human willingness to contribute to something bigger than themselves.